Today we are going to show you how to identify and use a really common weed, a really annoying weed for gardeners and those that are trying to have a nice pretty garden. Um, it's called horsetail. It's a plant that grows a, a lot of areas and it's got jointed stems. It doesn't have any flowers on it and the stems are easily pulled apart which you should be able to see. They just come off, these wee tiny sections just pull apart. In times gone by it was used to polish metal and shine it up and Native Americans used it to shine up and smooth their wood carving. So, and it has been known like today that some people still use it for that. So, it's a really, really useful plant in a variety of ways and we can, we can eat it, it's edible. We can make medicines from it and there's obviously the kind of day-to-day -day uses like the shining. So, the leaves of horsetail are arranged in tiny whorls fused in to each sheath, sort of like um, like a brush pole or like a telescopic hoover pole, and they all just kind of fit into each other. Um, they're they're tiny, but they are hollow. They've got tiny little areas inside them, and usually you find that they can grow quite high and up to five feet tall. So. In this country, at least, they're they're quite kind of extensively grown plants. So it contains. It's a really important plant, and one of the most impressive things about it is that it contains more than thirty five percent silica. Now, silica is a really useful compound for the human body, and it's used to strengthen like connective tissue, like skin, hair, nails, bones, but. As well as like looking after like cartilage and it's been kind of shown to help with osteoporosis. It has been like a current thing and it's came out about those who have been using paracetamols, ibuprofen and their effects on the liver. And silica has shown to have an effect on improving that and helping clean that out. It's also an anti-inflammatory so it can... It can stabilize like inflamed cells uh, during allergy allergies or even just like wounds and cuts in the past it's been known to treat bronchitis and tuberculosis those with asthma and um, usually in the form of a tea uh, so again just using it as a tea and a daily kind of dose um, can help the mucus thin in the lungs so again it just obviously helps those things and it removes that congestion um it's also been used for like eczema and hair loss so if you're looking to spend a fortune Mom. on impl implants then you might try this first so a lot of the time you'll find it in like kind of wet areas or pe places where it gets a lot of rain very common in a lot of fields, gravelly soil, and sometimes in cracks and cement, and it does grow right up through it. Um, it's really hard to get rid of, and it literally has really, really deep, deep roots. So the best time to harvest horsetail is when the leaves are this color, bright green, and they're turned upwards. So when I picked this plant this morning, this is obviously, you can see it's, it's all coming up the way so the leaves will droop later on and just like anything like when it starts to lose its strength and its its ability to be flexible but also withhold that strength then you know that it's losing its silica level so you can use a clean pair of scissors to sip, snip the horsetail. There's no jaggy bits or anything on it. Um, but you can also just pick it off because of the way that it just comes apart. So, yeah, it's a, it's a great thing um, to have. You can store it. It's got a lot amount of water. So 
you can you can dry it out for storage. You can use a food dehydrator um, on a really low temperature. Um, tie it tie it upside down, or you can freeze them. So yes, yeah, and dried horsetail keep up to a year. Obviously, make sure that you wash it off horsetail and make sure that you don't pick it at the side of the motorway or any kind of contaminated kind of ooh, obviously contaminated areas um always kind of be wary of that where you're picking or foraging anything so for more information on this we're going to uh, have a feature of horsetail and our wild foods course and we go into depth on how to cook it and use it, how to make hair rinse from it, and also how you can utilise horsetail for other day-to-day -day things. So any questions, just stick them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Cheers!